Halloween! It's probably gonna take longer. Oh, there's so many leaves. Why should I sculpt a branch? I live in the country. Bonjour. I love summer, but it has begun. Spooky season has arrived. I know it's September and it's still 30 degrees outside, but spooky season is more of a state of mind. So today we are going full autumn Halloween mode with a whimsy little witch costume. Away, away. I made this little hat a few years back, but now I want it to be a full outfit. This will be a fun yet simple project that I think you can do with basic tools and adapt it to your taste. Let's design something cute and feel good and just on theme for the season because most of us could go for some serotonin right now. Yeah, let's go! Okay, so I'm back from the store. I bought 45 euros of supplies for costume and decoration. Look. We have a whole lot of leaves. They were super cheap. I think I got these 20 packs for 18 euros. Some plastic rhinestones and decoration. That would be for another video. Stay tuned. Oh, j'ai pas mis les lumières. Yeah. This nice petticoat from my Barbie outfit, if you remember. So I think it will be perfect as a base for a nice skirt. We have big leaves, medium leaves, and small leaves, and these ones. And this size covers about this amount of fabric. So if I want to cover the whole petticoat, I think I won't have enough to cover a circle skirt, so I'm going to make it a semi-circle, so it should be fine. For the base fabric, we have this yellow bed sheet and also this brown thing. I like this texture because it kind of reminds me of the dirt, so we have the leaves on the floor. But I also want to make a kind of gradient with the leaves, so if I run out of leaves, it will be fine to have some yellow visible instead of the brown. I think yellow is a better choice. We start by measuring roughly the amount of fabric needed. I want the leaf to cover the whole petticoat, but just barely, so I can have a little peekaboo when I'm walking. Uh, of course I don't have enough fabric to make it in one piece, but that's okay, we can have like a seam in the front and it's gonna be covered with leaves, so who cares? A rolled hem on a circle skirt doesn't look very good, so I'm cutting a little curved strip with the same fabric. And this will be the hem, I don't think I'm going to add a horse hair, I think this will be enough to give more body to the edge. And it's going to be covered in leaves anyway, but you know I'm a perfectionist. And I like to make things difficult for myself for absolutely no reason. This project is very much inspired by Kira's dress from Prickly Alpaca. This design and gradient, just perfect. So we have one half of a big packet. I don't know if it's going to be enough to cover the whole skirt, we'll see. I think it looks very nice. I'm gonna do a gradient from red to yellow with the big leaves at the bottom and the smaller ones on top. I I think it should look very good. Well, I hope. And now comes one of my favorite things to do in the project, which is sorting everything by color and size. Am I the only one who enjoys this so much? Like I would spend an entire afternoon just sorting through buttons or beads. It really comes my anxiety. Huh. Let's do it. It doesn't look like that much because the big leaves are stacked, but I think they should be good. There's like hundreds of leaves. I think it's going to be kind of annoying to attach. What should I do? I mean, yeah, I guess it was a little annoying to do. I did use hot glue for a lot of it, but baby, it was worth it for that final result. Okay, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> I pin them one by one, starting at the bottom. I put them just barely close enough so they cover the yellow part, and I can cover as much surface as I can. So that took about 20 minutes. I haven't cut the threads. I think I'm going to do all of them at the end. But yeah, that was one row. I think I have about 15 more to do. So that is going to take a few hours. But each row is going to be smaller and smaller and smaller. So maybe it won't take that long. It's probably gonna take longer. And long it took. Two rows. Wow. I can only pin and sew one row of leaves at the time because they will get dangled in the feet of my machine. 
And for that reason, I also need to cut the threads each time and not do them uh, all at once, which would have been easier too. And also sometimes I missed a pin, so I will just prick myself with the next row and I will get blood on the skirt. But that's okay, because there's a lot of red on the skirt and you don't even see it. We could play a game of Find the Blood Stains, which will be very on theme for Halloween. Ugh, that's so many leaves. I'm making good progress though. But I really like the gradient and some... Uh, I really like the gradient and the fact that some of the leaves are a bit uh, roughly. But since they are fabric, they are not very rigid. So if I remove too much, you can see the yellow underneath a bit too much. And they stay like that which is not good, so I need to add just a few more pins to fix them. And when attach them, you want to fold them a little bit, like this leaf here. You don't want it too flat, so you just make it... In nature, the leaves are not laying flat on the ground. I want this to look like I come out of a pile of leaves in the forest somewhere. <laughs> Almost done! Finally, all the leaves are attached. Now I just have to fix the ones that are a bit... Uh, bleh. And for that, we need to shake things up. All the leaves are in and secured and it is close to done, but I don't want to work on it again today. So I think I'm gonna go to something else. But if I make a witch, maybe she should have a broom. To make the stick, I did some scavenging into my stash and I have this amount of clay left. Just cheap air drying clay and this amount of foam clay. The more I think of it and the more I'm like, why should I sculpt a branch? I live in the country. Let's just find a branch in the forest somewhere. That could be a nice break. <laughs> Behold, my stick. I think it is perfect for this project. It's just that it was in the river for a while and it smells like it. So I'm going to wash it and disinfect it and leave it to dry. And then we can turn that into a witch broom. And now we need something for the end of the broom. I think I know where to find it. This should be enough, maybe? We'll see. Mosquito, mosquito, mosquito. I'm not sure that those branches are the right choice to make a broom, but it's okay. This broom is going to be a prop. It's not meant for sweeping, it is meant for fly. A little trim of those branches and then we can make it pretty. This is not good. Let's hide that with rope and hot glue. That's basically it. I think it's not really hard to make a prop broom as long as you are willing to go into the river. Which was very cold, by the way. It's not finished yet and I think it will look even better with the petticoat, but I was thinking a cape. I mean, so I'm thinking I will just clean up all the threads and finish this edge and add a lot of buttons. That way I can wear it as a cape open or as a skirt closed. Isn't it great? That's something I want to do more, it's to cut my costumes into different pieces so I can style them into different costumes and have a lot more options for different cute characters. So let's cut all of these threads. The belt of this skirt is just a simple rectangle that I'm reinforcing with some fusible interfacing. Cut it to my waist measurements and just add a few centimeters to add a bottom. It is pinned and sewn to the skirt, chopping off the excess leaves that will be in the way. And the belt is folded to have a clean edge on the inside and on the outside. To attach this, we stitch in the ditch. And that means no visible stitching on the outside. Since I want it into a cape, I finish the edges in the back by hand. This is just to not have any visible stitching on the outside, but if I had done it before attaching the leaves, I could have done this by machine. Now we need to add some buttons to the skirt. Nah. 
The buttons will be closed in the back and basically hold the skirts together. Just like my Patreons are holding me together. <laughs> I mean, thanks to their support, I can manage to make all of this. That is amazing and I'm just so thankful to all of you. I want to try something new on Patreon. It will be a costume support private live. I figured that I'm starting to really know what I'm doing with costumes, so maybe I can actually help others. I can answer questions about how to design your costume, how the hell you can make this part that's been bothering you, fixing issues that you might have. I don't know, we will test it on Patreon and hopefully with your feedback I can make it into something that's very interesting to everyone. Anyways, thank you so much. I can wear it as a cape. That does look pretty cool, like a bird. Ah! I can even use it as camouflage when I'm outside. I mean, can you even tell where I am? Done with the broom, done with the skirts. The last thing is I want to make a little bit of accessories. But first let me talk about the hat. Which needs a witch hat, of course. I made this one in wool. The shape is very simple. It's just like this slightly curved point. And I added a few pleats here. So it's a bit more curved and floppy. It has the slightest amount of padding there. A wire on the brim so you can adjust the floppiness. And it's lined in orange cotton. And to go with it, I had made this ribbon, which is made with the same kind of plastic decorations and also some rhinestones, but it's not attached to the hat. That way I can use it separately if I want to go with an autumn look, but more casual. And I can just tie it around the hat to make it very cute. And I think this will go perfect with the ensemble. It's a jacket that I made. It's a 1880s inspired. I made it for this ensemble and I think it's fantastic. But here, I think I want to go with the little preppy look. Let's make some accessories, but I think I have the perfect handbag. I made it myself in leather. Want to see something cool? It turns into a backpack. I've worn it for a year straight and it's not really damaged. I'm really happy that it came through. Even this. With just a few of the leftover leaves, I think I can manage to make bows. I figured that if this witch is okay to wear a skirt that is made of leaves, might as well just accessorize with them. A combination of sewing and a hot glue is just perfect for these. They are so freaking cute and easy to do, I think you can wear them with a lot of different outfits. Perfect for autumn, not even Halloween. I'm making two small ones in red, I thought I was going to wear them in my hair, but they were actually so much better on my shoes. <laughs> I also make a bigger one in yellow to wear around my neck, basically like the scarf that you would have on a school uniform, and I'm adding some padding to make it a bit more chunky. And it is time for the reveal. Let's go. It has begun. But it has been... <laughs> oui, mais bon... <laughs> Moi, je fais le montage derrière. C'est plus drôle pour toi, c'est pas plus drôle pour les gens. Non, c'est pas un cut. <laughs> Spooky season has arrived Ce serait bien que tu vises. <laughs> Spooky season has arrived. <laughs> Spooky season has arrived. <laughs> Spooky season has arrived. <laughs> Ouais, je pense qu'on est bien. Au pire, je montrerai les autres, c'est drôle. <rire> Merci. Ouais.